You want to make $2,500 to $25,000? This is my best advice for you. Man, get on the phone with Adrian. Here's my advice. Number one, number one, first commandment of wealth is thou shall not have one stream of income. Okay? That's why I have one stream of income. One stream of income, basically, throw everything out the door you're doing. Every aspiration you have, every financial goal. It ain't going to happen with one stream of income. People put all their eggs in one basket. It's the most common sense thing. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. 99% of planet Earth has one source of income. Their job. Literally. 99% of Earth has one source of income. Facebook won't go that way. Are you sure you guys... You know what ratio lock is? Yeah, yeah. you keep it from... Are you sure that's not on? That's not on. It's now upside. It's right side up like that. <laughs> when you guys went live and tested it, it didn't do this? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is the bio This is the rule that 99% of businesses violate. 99% of individuals violate. 99% of entrepreneurs violate. And there's nothing I can do for you. The economy's cyclical. Things go up and down. Companies fire people all the time. Companies shut down. So the average millionaire, by the way, has three to seven. There's a book called Rich Habits, a guy analyzed all these businesses. And guess what he found? He found an awkward percentage. The average millionaire, about 65% of millionaires in the study, self-made millionaires, had three streams of income, and the other 35% had like seven to 10. Now, if you look at billionaires, Warren Buffett has 92 streams of income. 92 streams of income, okay? So my question, my, let me see myself on your phone. Is that Instagram? Billionaires, 92. There is no average billionaire, but that's an example of a billionaire. Jeff Bezos, trust me, has a ton of streams of income. I've gotten mine to 18 streams of income. Not as good as Warren Buffett, but better than I was when I started. So when I say the craziest opportunity of 2019, before I even get into the other kind of commandments of wealth, I have a way by the end of this call that some of you, I can show you how to get five streams of income. For sure three, possibly five. Three for sure in terms of three that will work. I don't care if you live in the United States, I don't care if you're 18, if you're 80, you don't need experience, you don't need to have a million bucks to start a business, you don't need to have $10,000 to have a business, start a business. So what are the other three before I get to that? You got to get to this number right here. This is the magic number three. And by the way, it doesn't count if you get like interest check from Bank of America for one penny. That's not a source of income. Like a like an actual source of income that pays bills, that you know creates wealth. Okay, so number two is thou shall invest thy money wisely. But here's the key word. with the right connections. You need connections. Okay, so here's the thing. Everybody in this world that doesn't know what they're doing, it's like, Ty, how do I invest in the stock market? How do I invest in real estate? How do I invest in businesses? Forget it, if you don't have the right connections, you, can, you think the best deals in the stock market, I mean, the best deals in investing in companies is in the stock market? Travis, there's a guy, the founder of Uber, Okay, if you invested a hundred, uh, I'm sorry, a thousand dollars in Uber ten years ago, you'd have a hundred million dollars today, a hundred million bucks. Okay, but do you think that opportunity was available for everybody? No, it was a handful of people 
in Silicon Valley in San Francisco who had the right connections that got the opportunity to be in that deal. If you bought Uber, just went public the other day, you've already lost money. See, people who don't have the right connections, they get in the deals too late. So this is the key thing. Thou shalt invest thy money wisely, but using connections. Here's how I started my first business. My mentor, Joel Salatin, was my connection and helped me set up the first business. Connection. So who's your connection? Who do you invest your money? Do you listen to some stockbroker? Do you listen to some financial advisor? Has no money themselves? You know how Warren Buffett makes money? You know how Bill Gates money? They have connections that nobody else has. They literally have connections that you don't have right now. So, mm, if you can't do number one, and most people can't do number two because they don't have connections, how are you going to create wealth? Well, that's why most people have no wealth. Number three, okay? Any questions, by the way? What is this? Thou shall what? 100 bucks if anybody comes up with the right third command. Somebody said, how do you find those connections? Ty, you're my connection. What anybody, 100 bucks if I see a remotely good idea here. Thou shall not pass. What does that even mean? Thou shall Lord not pass. Lord of the Rings. Two people wrote that. It's from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, well, Lord of the Rings, great. You can become a dragon and sit on top of coins. That, that's probably some Experiment. People. Experiment. Thou shall read books. Shall spend wisely. Thou shall take action. Mm, compound. Due diligence. Compound. Eh. I mean, these are okay. Is there any way to... Should probably move over a little bit. I need this. I need that more this way because I'm moving off. Um, these are all okay. That shall invest in yourself. Yeah, but invest. I just somebody just wrote real estate. No. Again, people make money in real estate. People lose money in real estate too. Thou shall be organized. Thou shall not spend the principal. Well. I don't know if you guys follow my Twitter, but I did a poll. Let me pull up the poll results and show you. I did a poll asking people what they thought were the three most important things. And some people um, invest money in appreciating assets, reinvesting your profits, uh, focusing, not being distracted. These are all Twitter results. Okay, let me tell you what the third one is. Thou shalt make money work for you, but, because you've probably heard that before, thou shalt, can you see that on the bottom? Thou shalt make money work for you, but, everybody says that. Everybody says, oh, you gotta make money work for you, but nobody knows how to do it. So what's the key? To make the third commandment work, thou shalt make more money work for you, by catching trends early. See, so each of these like has like each of the three commandments. It's almost like they're trick questions. Because if it was just this easy to get wealthy, thou shalt not have one more. You know, thou shalt have more than one stream income. Okay, everybody would just do it. Everybody, if it was easy to just invest your money wisely and anybody could do it without connections. You would just do it instantly. If it was easy to make money work for you, it took me 10 years to figure out how to make money work for you. By the way, the definition of money work for you is tonight, log into your bank account. Did money come in at 2 a.m. in the morning when you were asleep? If money never comes in except from your job, you do not make money work for you. If you are an entrepreneur and 99% of your revenue, this is why I don't ever open a store. Like, a, think about a restaurant. You open a restaurant, right? Let's say you can have your restaurant open from 10 in the morning to 10 at night. Well, that sucks because you're literally only generating revenue 12 hours, but you got to pay rent for 24 hours. The rent's calculated on 30 days, 24 hours. So making money work for you is the trickiest of all. And the best thing I can tell you is... Um, if you don't catch new trends, you won't have margins. 
okay? Margins. This is a key thing. I can, I can show every single person how to make $3,000 a month starting a business, grinding away, just burning themselves out. You wanna learn that? You wanna burn yourself out? 90% of entrepreneurs quit their job, fail. 90%. Because they're just like, oh, guess what? I figured out how to make money. But you don't make money when you don't have margins. You don't margin me. I know a guy right now, one of my top students, listen to this. He buys stuff for $10. I'm not going to tell you what, because I don't want to, he'll be pissed <laughs> if I give away a secret. But he buys things for $10 and at scale sells them for $200. That's how you make money work for you, my friend. The margins are so fat. He don't even have to be a good entrepreneur. He like smokes weed half the time. He doesn't have an MBA. He plays basketball all the time. I mean, he's not dumb, but he buys stuff for 10 bucks and sells it at scale. I see people being like, yo, I'm gonna go <laughs> buy stuff on eBay for 10 bucks and resell it like once a week for a hundred bucks. whoop de doo you made $90, but when you count your labor, you made nothing. Scale, you gotta have scale. I didn't have time to put that in the three commandments of wealth. So it's like, <sighs> You know why my social media marketing agency program worked in 2016 and it works today? I don't know if you saw my Instagram story. There was uh, two guys that bought me. I was at a, I was just in Las Vegas meeting with some business partners and I was at Nobu Sushi in the Hard Rock Cafe and a guy comes up to me, the, the waiter, and is like, here's some champagne. That table over there wants to get it for you. It turned out I was a student. I didn't know he was there um, who was in my social media marketing agency program. He's got, listen to this. 95, I think he either does chiropractors or like dentists or something. He has an exact program, social media marketing agency. He charges them $2,000 a month, okay? So 95 people pay him 180 grand. I think his costs are like 500 bucks. So he's pocketing $1,500 times 90 doctors a month. He's netting 100 to 150 Gs. That's why he was like 25 years old buying me an expensive bottle of champagne. So he has margin. So money's working for him right now because he has extra money. You can't, you can be an entrepreneur, build a business that builds you, makes you a thousand bucks a month or 5,000, but you're working so much in it. There's no margin, all the money. I know people who got, 50, I know a guy has a $50 million business. His business isn't work any, worth anything. He has zero profit. So how's he gonna make money work for him? See, there's a lot of stuff that people say online about making money. My business partner, Alex, he just sold his company, Zeus, for $255 million, okay? He put in zero of his own money. That's margins. You put in zero. 10 years later, he's selling it. He started, I think, 2008 or 2009, Zeus.com. You can Google it, it's public that it's now sold for a quarter of a billion dollars. That's margin. No margin. No making money while you sleep. It, making money while you sleep or making money work for you is not what people think about passive income. I bought a real estate property. I got a house. I rented it out. I flipped it. Well, do you flip it for mar with serious margins? So the best margin is um, zero expenses. <laughs> I have some people that do consulting. I have some people, even SMMA. I know people have no costs, except their own time. That's 99% margin. How about that? Most businesses operate at 10% profit. For every $100 they keep, uh, make, they keep 10 bucks. So they're basically on a treadmill not making money work for you. So, the beginning of this, I was like, what's, I'm, I've been thinking long and hard for all of 2019. I need something new because like social media marketing agency, 50,000 people I trained already to have agencies and people are like, what's the next thing? What's going to work in 2019? What's bigger than what you've even been doing? And I don't know if you've noticed, I've been traveling. I've been in London. I was in Vegas. I've been in New York. I was in Toronto. A lot of the reason I've been traveling is because I've been focusing my brain. Travel makes you focus. And so 
all I was thinking about, believe it or not, I mean, not all I was thinking about, but a big thing I was thinking about is like, I've got all these followers. Most of them follow me because they want to make money. Okay? I've shown people how to make money. Airbnb, Amazon, e-com agency, social media marketing agency, real estate. I've shown people uh, uh, e-com drop shipping. Millionaires have been created out the yin-yang. I need to count how many, but trust me, it's a lot. Self-made millionaires have come out of the training, but I was going, what's next? Like what works in 2019? What works in 2020? And it hit me. I just went back to what I did to start. I partnered with my first mentor and it was almost a guaranteed success because he knew what he was doing. I didn't have to put any money up. I didn't have to do anything. It just like he put the money up and he split it with me. So my first business in a year, this was a part-time business with him. I made $12,000. This was a food business. But you know what? I took that 12 grand. It was all profit. My bank account went up 12 grand. I was like 20 years old and I made money work for me. I invested it wisely. I had connections. Joel also gave me connections. He connected me to my next mentor with a guy named Alan Nation. Then a guy in New Zealand named Gary Townsend, a guy from Ireland named Michael Murphy. I like use this money to travel to them, increase my connections, and my next business was six figures. My next business after that was seven figures. My next business after that was eight figures. And next business after that goes where? So, you know, this is, I'm giving you a nine figure formula, okay? And it started, and I forgot that because. Here's the number one problem with people in the social media marketing agency or who do Amazon or who open up HSMC, which is a home sharing management company using Uber, I mean Uber, using Airbnb, okay? The number one problem is that you gotta do all the work yourself. You're not really supported. It's a little bit, I don't know, it's harder for people. So I go, what's easier? Why was it easy for you to do your work? first business. And I was like, because I had the support of a guy who had been in business for Joel Southson had been in business almost 25 years before. So I got all his staff, all his experience, all his connections. He put the money up for the marketing, everything all I had to do was show up. So I had to do something. I had to show up. I couldn't be lazy. So here's, here's what I'm rolling out right now. I want to go watch the basketball game since the NBA Finals. So, so um, let's talk about this. It's funny, I see people bringing up comments comparing me to other influencers. Don't compare people. Everybody got their good thing and bad thing, but I will tell you this. I'll put money down. Anybody that's used social media to help more people make money. Real money. Not a fucking fifty dollars, fifty thousand a month. Twenty-one year olds, just show me. Not everybody, not everybody's gonna be successful. Let's just not be stupid. So I tell people, you can follow who you want. You can follow people who are flashy. You can people follow people who aren't flashy. You can you can follow people who act like who speak with a lot of authority. You can follow people who swear and people who don't swear. You can follow people that say this, this, but show me anybody that posts more real testimonials from more people who follow my stuff that have made real money. I define real money starts at about 10 grand a month. Just show anybody. I'll go head to head. I know a lot of influencers who get rich off their following. And there's nothing wrong with getting rich, whatever. I made a lot of money off my followers, but I'm saying, who made their followers money? Directly, not indirectly. Not like, yo, I helped you wake up in the morning and feel spry. Fuck that. I'm talking about somebody who's like, yo, go do this. Here's a script. Go talk to a business owner. Charge, get them to sign a two to ten thousand dollar a month contract. Well, go eat, drop ship this product. My first person we did, a, I did a real estate, Cole Hatter. First guy that got in made $35,000 this first month. His family, no one person in his family had ever made, he was, a, he was a Mexican guy who lived in Texas. 
I mean, he's American. I think he's Mexican American. His family was all from Mexico. He grew up dirt poor. He we flew him out. It was a month after I launched it. Just show me people doing that. So that's why I say don't compare. I'm not the best influencer. I'm not the worst. But if it was me on the other side of the camera, I don't care about anything except people who get actual results, not just motivation. Motivation is somewhat bullshit. Let me tell you what motivates you. Okay, I'll tell you what motivates me. Um, freedom. Like I've been traveling. I don't have any schedule. Right now I have no schedule. For the rest of 2019, what's on my schedule, Maya? Um, you have one wedding. I have one wedding. I'm a best man for my best friend. That's my schedule. You want to know if you have freedom when you don't have to hustle? Yeah, wealthy. When, when I had to hustle, you know how you wealthy if you have to hustle? You can hustle because you like it. Nothing wrong with that. But if you have to, that's different. So I have freedom. Um, and what else motivates me? Because people ask me a lot about motivation and they follow a lot of people for motivation. I see it. I was one of the guys who started the trend of doing selfie videos all over YouTube and social media. And now I see everybody and their brother doing it. No hate. I'm happy for lots of people to do it. I don't have the rights to copyright that or, you know, trademark that concept. But that's not how you get motivated. That's temporary motivation. That's about, that's like somebody, you're at the gym and, and um, you're already lifting weights. And they come in and go, come on, go a little harder. That does, you know what gets you in shape? Building consistent habits, not one-time motivation. So all of you that are following influencers because you need little, you need motivation, I'm gonna give you something better. Make money. That'll get you out of bed in the morning. Opportunity gets you out of the bed. Opportunity makes you motivated. More than anything, in the planet we live in right now, where People play video games and they're lazy and all this stuff that we criticize the young generation because they don't see opportunities. If you're a trillion dollars in debt in college, you're not going to work hard because every day you work, you're just paying the college back for not even helping you. So people lose motivation. Opportunity. Even more than habit. Opportunity. And in the case of this, we're talking about opportunities to make money. So a little advice. If you've been procrastinating, I know why. It's because you have no opportunity. So I'm gonna give you an opportunity. This is not for everybody. Like I said, I'm gonna go watch the NBA Finals here. I don't mind missing the first quarter or whatever. Who cares? It hasn't started. Yeah, uh, it's you don't need to see the first quarter of the finals. Figure out how to make money, and you'll be set for life. How about that? <laughs> That's one of the big things. People, people's life suck because they're not set for life. Get set for life, man. Get set for life. How do you get set for life? I just drew it on the board. You create at least three streams of income. Number two, you have the right people connected to you who open up their connections. Forget investing in the stock market, even investing in real estate. The best way you make money in real estate is you got some inside information. You can't do that in the stock market, it's illegal, but in real estate, people have inside information. Yo, Bob's gonna sell. Go buy this property next to him so you can sell. Yo, a store's coming in here early, connections. And then lastly, have enough profit margin that you can make money work for you. Then you're set for life. For life okay here's if you don't if you feel lost I know some of you already have businesses going okay so you can turn this off for those of you who have been lost or for those of you who tried different things you've tried this influencers business idea this influencer I'm gonna give you one that I promise you works because every day for the last I don't know seven years it's worked for me I'll let you partner with me on it Seriously. So you get all my connections, all my staff. I have offices in Los Angeles, New York, Miami, London. We're opening Toronto. We have them um, in Philippines. We have them in Pakistan. So we've got them all around the world. We have them in the four major hubs of the world. We don't have them in Tokyo. I guess that's a big one. Um, all the experience, all the capital, all my computer programmers that build web, you don't have to build a website and you don't have to do the work. We'll do all the work. Here's an opportunity for 2019. I've never done this before. This is not an old thing that I'm bringing back up. This is brand new. And as far as I know, no one else in the world is doing this. Nobody. Once again, every influencer who's showing you how to make money, ask them, well, can I just make money in the thing you're doing? Just ask them that. 
for most people, the hands are going to be nope. And if it is yes, they're not going to split with you like 50% of what they make. They might be like, yeah, here you can make a small pittance of what I make. But I'm talking about ask them like, can I have like 25% or like 50% of what you do? That's how you have serious margins. So here's the simple thing. Um, I spend right now, okay, I was just calculating like, let's just pick a number. It's higher than this, but 20 million on YouTube ads, okay? I was just tallying up. It's, it's more than that, but I just want to pick a lower number. $20 million, okay. Let's say YouTube, fit. that's just YouTube, but who am I making rich? A big corporation, Sergey Brin, Larry Page, they're already almost the wealthiest people in the world. And I was like, what if I didn't have to spend so much money on marketing? And then it hit me. Why don't you just let all your followers be your marketing force, not full time, but just like send referrals. I'll do all the work and I'll show you in three different ways you can make money. Remember I said three different streams of income? I could have sent that 20 million bucks to, I don't know, 10,000 of my followers. A thousand, not all my followers are active. They're not all gonna be. But I'm just saying, imagine if a thousand people who follow me really wanted to partner with me and I've given them this 20 million bucks or a hundred people. Been good money. Only the rich wouldn't have got richer. I would have made other people rich. When you add in Facebook, Google, all this stuff, I'm like, wait, a second, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. I mean, I'm always going to run YouTube ads, but it's stupid. So imagine this right now. I've got a social media marketing agency, obviously, because I train people in social media mar marketing agency. I've got a new website coming out called Profit Index where we go into businesses and we make them profitable. We do all the work. You can start your own social media marketing agency, but you're going to have to do all the work. You're going to have to run all the ads. You're going to have to do the website design, maintenance, the funnel building, the email marketing, the blah, 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 blah. I do it all. If you send me, this is a serious thing. We have three different packages we do for businesses. You send me one person, just a name, an introduction, and they go into our highest level service, I'll send you a check for $25,000 commission. Because I have profit margins and I'll share them with you. 25,000, you do two of those a year, you get $50,000. That's actually, and you could keep, that's part time. This won't take your full time. So take, I bet you, you have two people you know right now who own businesses or they're friends of friends or they're friends of your parents or they're friends of your kids. I'm gonna market to them and spend money on Facebook, Instagram, and Google. And I'm gonna spend millions of dollars and it's gonna make Mark Zuckerberg rich or I can just give you the money. I'd rather just make, give you guys the money. So this is not for everybody, it's only for serious people. I don't wanna have everybody referring me business. There's too many spammy people. There's too many people that are not serious. So I just wanna take a handful of people. I only introduced this on Monday, okay? So I'm gonna put a link below you can go watch the full explanation of how this program works. But this is what I'm from. This is what it's about. Cash flow. I want to put cash flow into your pocket. I have things, for example, not everything will pay you $25,000. But I've got stuff that will pay you $500. Some of you, I bet you, one of you will make $500 to $5,000 in the next 24 hours with this new cash flow program. It's a cash flow system I've created. Let me throw it. Erase this. Cash flow system. I use two W's on it so that it's not just like the word cash flow. So this is cash flow system. TM. I don't have the trademark yet, but I'm working on it. My lawyers are already working on it. Cash flow with an extra W for winning. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, and this system, basically, here's the promise. I don't want to over, this almost sounds too good to be true. And that's a good thing. People go, oh, if it sounds too good to be true, it is true. Well, yeah, either that or it's a new trend. My friends in CBD, they were telling people two years ago, yo, you should get into CBD. People didn't get in. Sounds too good to be true. Oh, you're going to make millions of dollars. 
Well, it actually worked for them. Bitcoin. Uh, I have a friend who was told to get into Bitcoin in 2012. His best friend said, I beg you, buy Bitcoin. Okay. $300 he told him to buy. My friend said, that sounds good to, too good to be true. Oh, Bitcoin, it's just a coin. He's like, buy 300 bucks worth. The one guy bought 300 bucks worth that was doing advice. The other guy did it. I know how much money he has because he wants to invest in one of my other businesses. And he has $38 million from that $300. So yeah, it sounded too good to be true. And some things that sound too good to be true are too good to be true. But there's other things that sound too good to be true that are just new trends. New trends, man. When I told people to do social media marketing, they're like, oh, that's too good to be true. How could you get a business to pay you two to $10,000? I'm like, easy. Business owners don't know how to do social media. They'll pay you even if you're not that good. No, Tom, that's too good to be true. Meanwhile, millionaires created out the yin yang in every continent of America. So I'm telling you this again. Some of you trust me and some of you don't. If you don't trust me, it's a great reason to not become an affiliate partner with me. I don't want any affiliate partners that are haters. Go follow somebody else that'll motivate you in the morning, that'll help you get out of bed and give you Cheerios, and, but never will tell you one practical thing that'll make you money in the next 24 hours. That's what I'm saying. You can come to me if you want that, because that's what I think about, and I'll tell you why. I didn't have money to start with. I didn't have a dad with a business. Having a dad, a father with a business, is something that helps a lot of people, even the President of the United States. And not just this President of the United States. How about the President of the United States a couple presidents ago? It probably helped George Bush to have his father be George Bush Sr. And I'm not knocking any president. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying they get connections. And so there's influencers that I know that they made money, but they had a lot of connections from family. Family, they're going, that's great. No hate on you. Good news that you had a dad who was around. You had opportunities. But I did it, and that was the cards I was dealt, <laughs> that I was dealt, a dad in prison when I was born. So for those of you who get where I'm coming from, like, I'm thinking about what will help you. I know people go, oh, you're just saying that because you're trying to sell people stuff. Whatever. I mean, by the end of this, I'm going to put a link up. I'm going to go watch the game. You guys should go to this link. Trust me, you should go to this link. And I recorded a one hour video. Why did I do it at one hour? Because I realized that only people who are serious will take one hour out of their life to do something. And I've never tried to reach everybody. Okay? I've never tried to reach everybody. Because you don't want everybody as your friend, man. You don't want everybody around you. I had a friend who was like, man, I wish I, if I had a one wish, it would be all women in the world would be attracted to me. That's what my friend said. I said, are you weird, man? You, you want all women in the world? And if a woman, do you want all men in the world to like you? There's a lot of weird people. No, you just want a handful of people to be on your side. You know? Are you guys doing this? Yeah? No, I don't think you are. Okay. Um, no, do you know what I'm talking about? I'm not sure if you know. Oh, is the, the link? Nope. I'll put it in there. Hold on, guys. Because there's something that always we always do that I don't see one person doing. Um, okay, so here's the way this works. Handful of you, you can go to the link. I'll put the link right here. It's tylopez.com slash, what is it, Ben? It is partner live or something. Yep. Partner live. Partner live. Go to this exact link. Or we put the links maybe in the title. I don't know if we did. Tylopas.com slash partner life. You can pin it to uh, what you want to call it. Okay. Adrian, it's time. No, not, not really. 
on which channel? YouTube. Okay. In a, an awake way or a sleeping way? Okay. Okay. Can you do it? You go watch the game. This here, I'm telling you this, and this is an early board war warning, because this runs out next month. I mean, uh, rolls out next week. This rolls out next week. So, this is the pre-launch of it. it. Just go watch that link. For those of you who are not going to take the time to watch one hour, you're already eliminated. So I'm glad. <laughs> That's why I made it an hour. I could just explain it in two minutes, but I wouldn't explain it well. It wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't have the full detail that I give in this video. So you can just go to tylopez.com slash partner live and watch the whole thing. That's what I would do. Um, let me see. Very quick questions. Let me ask this. But it's as simple as this. My company does the work. My company hosts the website. My company does the social media marketing services. Oh, I was gonna, let me just say this last thing. There's three different ways you can make money with this system. I probably shouldn't have erased that, but whatever. Three ways. There's three ways you can make money. There's only really three ways to make money in the world anyway. There's physical products, right? So you can sell something physical. You can sell an online digital uh, product. So here, physical product is like Walmart. It's like, uh, you know, Whole Foods. They sell physical products. They sell you food. Simple. Digital products, online digital product, Netflix. They don't deliver anything anymore. They, Netflix, like just, you get videos, you pay seven bucks or 10 bucks and you get a digital product delivered to you. Audible, you listen to audio books, nothing physical is given to you. The third thing is services, okay? But understand, services break out into two things, B2B, and B to C. B to B means business to business. You're selling to businesses. B to C. So, remember I said I'm gonna help you get to three streams of income. Assuming you have one stream of income now, you have a job. Okay? So number one is your job. Whatever you do now, keep your job. Don't quit your day job yet. Okay? Is there no video on that page? I'm switching. Oh, yeah, we'll refresh that page in a second. It's going to have the video in a second. Uh, we're just switching it around. So your job. Number two, I'm going to show you how to sell online digital products. If you don't think online digital products are big, you are a fool. Netflix made, makes a, a $1 billion a month. They have 100 million people paying them 10 bucks a month. It's a billion dollars. It's insane, okay? So I want to show you this one. And out of these two opportunities here, B2B or B2C, trust me, start with B2B. So business services, the beauty, beautiful thing compared to what I showed people in 2016, 17, 2018, and up to now in 2019, is I'll do all the, my company will do all the work for you. You just get paid for introductions. For those of you who are extroverted, this is the easiest thing ever. For those of you who are introverted and you're like, oh, Todd, I don't know how to do introductions. Don't worry. There's ways to automate it using email marketing and social media. Take it from me. Like if you're watching me now, it's because I, I know how to reach you. Okay. So the, you're going to have your job. Don't quit your job yet. This is my advice to you. Don't, don't quit your job yet. Okay. Get revenue, get different streams of cash flow coming in. Then you can decide what you want to do. Then number two, out of all these, go to online digital products. I have eight digital products, but well, actually more. Eight on Ty Lopez, and then I own MentorBox, I own Knowledge Society, and I'm gonna do a little bonus. For those of you who like physical products, I own an organic food company called Farmer's Box, okay? Oops, Farmer's Box, okay? Where we ship a box of food from farms that I own, sustainable, non-GMO. We just, yeah, it's a badass. For those of you who watch my social media, Joel Salatin's 
Polyface Farm, I got the exclusive rights, the first person in history to get the rights to uh, sell his food across the United States. Farmer's Box, not Farmer Bot. <laughs> Wrong there. So, Farmer's Box, we'll have that opportunity. The one that I don't recommend you start with that one unless you really love food. Okay, then you could do that one. But go here. I'm going to put the... These are the two opportunities that I recommend you start with. It's what I did. I put my money where my mouth is, and I can promise you, you can make money in these. I can promise you they convert. I can con and by the way, for those of you who say, I don't want to do it, that's fine. I'll spend the money marketing on Google and Facebook, and I'll do the online digital product sales myself, and I'll do my online B2B sales myself too. See what I'm saying? So all I'm trying to say to you is like, listen, I'm giving all this money to Mark Zuckerberg who owns Instagram and Facebook. I'm giving all this money to Larry Page and Sergey Brin who own YouTube and Google. I'm giving all this money to Twitter owned by Jack. I mean, they have shareholders, but these guys have become very wealthy. Evan Spiegel is basically the youngest guy billionaire in the world, youngest male billionaire in the world. I'm on Snapchat. I got over 10 million followers on these. I think I have 1.3 million Snapchat followers and 3 million Instagram. And so I'm already paying the owners of these a lot of money. I just give some of it to my followers who do the same thing better. And here's why I'll do this. If you make an introduction, it's a warmer lead, a warmer customer than if they, I just show a YouTube ad. People, as you know, get all mad about YouTube ads. So I'd rather do no ads. My dream would be to have no ads and just split you know, 10 or 20 million a year with my followers. That's how much I spend, by the way. That's real numbers. That's not a fake number. I'm sorry, that's just on one of my companies, by the way. That's not counting mentor blocks, farmers blocks, my real estate stuff, my business stuff. That's just on my tylopez.com. I'm spending 10 to 20 million bucks a year. I've spent more than that, I think, in one year. I, I'm not sure, where, <laughs> right, man? We've spent cuckoo money. And I just was going, I got all these followers, I wanna make money. Be in business with me. I got the website. I have the product done. I have the business services. We have the experience. We got the money behind us to make sure it gets done so you can feel good referring people to us and you're going to help people. I only go on businesses. I do my best to only go on businesses that will help people. I don't sell Frosted Flakes. We're not doing a Coca-Cola business where we're selling soda to people. Um, I'm not getting people... $80,000 in college debt to go through my programs. Yeah, my programs cost between $7 and $1,000. And so people do spend some money on all that education, but compare that with spending twenty dollars to 40000 to get a fake degree. Most colleges have fake degrees, trust me. I don't offer degrees. Why do you need a degree? You need skills, not degrees. You need skills, not degrees, my friend. Grant said, Ty, is social media management too saturated of a market, here's the good news. It ain't gonna be saturated for me because I was just on the phone, literally, with Maya when I got here, with a guy that's going into my um, highest end social media marketing packages, $150,000, he's gonna wire me. We're building out a funnel for him, we're building out his whole marketing system. It's not saturated because people can't compete with me very easily, right? Because I have the authority and I have the experience to do it. So it's a little harder to start when you don't know what you're doing and starting an agency, but there's still opportunity. There's still opportunity in e-commerce. You don't have to make all your money partnering with me. I'm just saying that why not make some of it? If Warren Buffett has 92 streams of income, I have 18, the average millionaire has, 65% uh, of millionaires have three, why wouldn't you want three, four, five? The more the better. A, a recession will be coming here soon. Mark my words. A lot of smart people already think it's, co it's coming. If you rely only on your job, you will regret it. And I'm glad I'm saying this on camera in front of a lot of people. So go. I'm going to go here. I'll take a few more questions. Is it the second quarter of the game yet? I'm a, I missed the first quarter of the NBA Finals, which I'm fine with. But I don't want to miss the whole game. Um, Tylopez.com slash uh, partner live. 
Watch the whole presentation of Partner Life. Take the time. If you have all the time now, watch 20 minutes of it now. Watch the rest when you, before you go to bed. Watch this. The program starts next week. And the reason I'm telling you early work, like I came off my farm. This is my office in the little city where I am in Virginia. I'd rather be on my farm right now watching the game. But I came here because I wanted to tell you ahead of time. Because the people who got in my social media marketing program first, we're talking October 2016, okay? The people who got in first had the best chances because there was nobody doing it. Like they just went in and like doctors and dentists, we were signing contracts left to right. People are still doing it, but it's more saturated. It's still a great opportunity. It is not fully saturated at all. The first time I rolled out the e-commerce blueprint and showed people how to do drop shipping, when was that, man? That was like a couple months after SMMA. Like three, four months. It was 2018, uh, 2017. That's when, uh, what's call it got it? What's the two guys that got in it that made so much money? Uh, Juan and Samir. Yeah, Samir and Juan. These were guys that were making two, three grand a month. Uh, started following me in 2015. And they started making, what did they get to? Uh, they were making $450,000 a month drop shipping. Drop shipping is a lot harder now. <laughs> I pity some of you who are just figuring out drop shipping, drop shipping, drop shitting right now. Some people are like, Tom, I just discovered Shopify. Okay. You're great at getting in on new opportunities. Hey, there's a new opportunity. It's not Shopify. It's not e-commerce drop shipping. Um, agencies still work, but... Somebody says, I don't disagree with your streams of income, but I'm saying unless you're guaranteeing clients to your consumers that even with your chain, they will not have a chance. What I'm saying, I, you can't guarantee everybody's going to be successful. I don't even try. I can give you a money-back guarantee, but I can never, I'm never going to come on here and go, everybody who follows my stuff, all of them will do well financially. I'm not stupid. Come on, man. What I will tell you, I've, I've never seen somebody who's applied principles that I, that I've laid out in these programs, whether they be, and remember, I'm not the only one who teaches in these programs. I bring in sharp teachers. I've never seen somebody take SMMA program seriously and go, this didn't help me. Not once. I've had people who just never did it, so they don't know if it helped them. So all I can tell you right here is, what is right here to partner with me, I can tell you this, people would take it seriously. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna start putting on my social media. I'm putting this out there publicly. I'm putting my neck on line. You see, you're gonna see in a second, not in a second, literally over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks. I'm gonna be posting real checks that I'm mailing to people around the world. And if you're too far away to mail, I'll PayPal, wire it, Venmo, cash app it to you. I'll send you Bitcoin if I have to. If you want Bitcoin, I guess we can pay you in Bitcoin. It's a little hairier to do, but I can do it. Hi, someone said their friend's already in it and they're joining next. Yeah, somebody said their friend's already in it. By the way, this is not network marketing or multi-level marketing. Just to be, we will have like a referral program. You can refer your friends to this program and get paid, but it's not going to be like this level when you get paid on 3,000 levels down. I, I have nothing against network marketing or MLMs, multi-level marketing. I just have never done it. I, I probably should do it. Everyone's where, but... For those of you who are worried, like, oh, is this some weird scam or something? I'm like, no, nah, this is just... By the way, you know who invented the affiliate partnership model? By the way, this is the last thing I'll say. Jeff Bezos invented this in 1999, and he built Amazon off affiliate partners. Do you think there's 400 million products on Amazon? He allows anybody who wants to sell on Amazon. He charges them money, by the way. If you want to sell on Amazon, you pay every month to have your Amazon store. So if anybody goes, Todd, this sounds sketchy to let people partner with you. I'm following the richest man in the world's advice. And I look at myself and I'm like, Todd, what are you, stupid? Jeff Bezos rolled this out in 99. I'm rolling it out in 2019. So in some ways, I'm a little bit behind the train. But that's why Jeff Bezos is richer than me and all of us combined on this entire live stream. Sadly that. See, he was very intelligent. And he realized partnering with people all around the world, letting them go on Amazon, 
open up an Amazon store. He owns the main thing, so you don't have to build your own website. You don't have to do credit card processing. You don't have to do customer support. You All you have to do is build your store. So what I'm saying to you guys is like, this opportunity is an opportunity for you to do with me what 400 million products have done with Jeff Bezos on Amazon.com. By the way, I'm gonna, those of you who really do well and take this seriously and start making money, I'm gonna meet you in person, okay? I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna meet you in person. I'm gonna take a select group of my affiliate partners who get in the pro, uh, program and I'm gonna bring them in. By the way, how can you make money with this? Well, remember the three commandments of wealth, just going back. I know we have a whole bunch of people, you said, just coming in on YouTube live right now, so I guess I'm gonna miss the second quarter of the game. Okay, three commandments, 100 bucks for the first person I see who gives me the first one. 100 bucks, I'm looking here, I'm looking on Instagram. $100, what's the first commandment if you've been watching from the beginning? Town bow. Someone said time my mom is for sale. If you have any interest, that, do not make your money. Have selling your mom. Selling in Somebody said that shall, shall set trends, get focused, smart work. No, no, no. Someone there we go. Jake Von, Jake Kun VA. J A K E K U N V A on YouTube said, Thou shalt, okay. thou shalt not have one stream of income like the masses. The masses. I'm not looking down on the masses. Look, I'm one of the masses too. Okay, <laughs> but I'm, when I say the masses, I mean the masses of people who are broke. I use that word because Thoreau said the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. So, uh, yeah, the masses of people financial desperation, 99% of them have zero income or one source of income. And when you put all your eggs in one basket and a recession comes, you get wiped out. Ask people in 2008. Ask people in, 19, uh, in 2001 who went through a crash. Ask people who went through 1988 crash. Ask people who went through the 1970s when there was a massive economic crash. Ask my grandma who went, lived through the 1929 crash. Ask people who are not alive anymore in the 1880s, in the, I think it was late 1880s, early 1890s, recession came. Recession's coming. It's been coming for countries forever. And those of you who have one source of income, you're gonna get screwed over. I said it. No one ever told you this in school. In fact, school funnels you into one stream of income. What does it tell you you should have in school? A major, a major, what are they talking about? Now, I'm all for specialists. I want my doctor to be a, have a major in medicine. I get it. So there's part of me that's like, ah, oh, majors, those make sense. I want a dentist to be a ma get a major in dentistry. That's, I'm not talking about professional majors. I'm talking about people get a major in English. They already speak English. I have a friend, 80 grand in debt to get an English degree. I said, um, where were you born? United States, what's your first language? English. I said, so what you did was pay somebody to give you a piece of paper to say you majored in a language you already knew before you paid them the money. That's the world we live in. So school funnels you into this concept of major. I, you know what I'd rather have gotten a degree in? Three strings of income. How about that? The average millionaire has it. You can read the book, The Millionaire Next Door, which is an exhaustive study of self-made millionaires in the United States. You can read a book called Rich Habits. You can read The Self-Made Billionaire Effect, which was created by all these tax accountants and CPAs, where they researched millionaires and billionaires. And again, over and over, they found they don't put all their eggs in one basket. So, um, the second one, anybody know? Should I give a hundred or no for you guys? Tie your hands up intelligent. She gets a hundred dollars. <laughs> Thank you for flattering me for money. That's a, someone, that shall invest thy money. Let me pick a different platform. Ty, is business and industry a good endorsement for high school? Ask them for 
Say when you're in high school, you want to have um, a three stream of income class. That's the class you need, man. Ty, you have a business school. That's how I learned the art of closing big deals. That is one. Don't ever stop. Wayne, are you just inventing them? He's like, the second. Thou shalt ask the secret of, nope. You guys are looking at my Twitter. There you go. Gus Helps on Instagram. G-U-S Helps. He's got a yellow picture. Thou shalt invest thy money wisely using connections. Invest wisely. But to do that, you have to have connections. Stop reading books on how to invest in the stock market. Stop, even stop reading books on real estate investing. If you don't have the connections, you're not going to get the good deals. I was talking to Grant Cardone. He's a friend of mine. He's doing all these huge apartment deals, right? He's like, hey, baby, I got the connections. You know how Grant talks. <laughs> He's like, I got the connections. No one else has these connections. They're never going to get these connections. It took me 20 years to get the connections. That's why Grant makes a lot of money in real estate. He's got connections. So there are ways to make money in real estate, but I'm not talking about big money. Oh, Eddie said that. No, that's not the third commandment. No. Somebody, this guy Silver just wrote thou shall for number three to be prepared to write the rest. Yeah, Sammy. Okay, let me pick a different platform. Let me pick Facebook. I always neglect sad Facebook here. Where are the comments on Facebook? What happened? Uh, they disappeared. Got to look for you. Here, let me look at Facebook. Facebook, I'll give you. I always, oh, there, that's it. What's the third one for a hundred bucks? Facebook. So thou shalt catch trends early. No. Okay. Then let's get it. Tom almost has it, which is make your money work for you, but I added something in there. Come on, man. David Woodbury's on here. By the way, David Woodbury just showed up. He's been an affiliate for me. How much do I send him a check for every month? Six to ten. Six to ten grand a month. I've been partnering with one guy. I don't know why. How many people up do we see? We just really like David Woodbury. There's this random guy, David. I know you're on here. I shouldn't call you random. <laughs> he came to me out of the blue years ago and goes, I want to be an affiliate partner of yours. And I was like, he was just persistent. I was like, okay. So we're, he, we're starting Instagram. Oh, so he built a YouTube channel. This is hilarious that he's on here. David, are you here? I wish I could. He's on Facebook. I love him. bring him on video. But uh, David just built an automated system that sends people to my site and like 3% of the people who he sends to my site buy stuff and I split the money with them. And he, I've been sending him a check for five to $10,000 a month for how long now? Ben? Years? Years. Years. I don't even think he's recorded. He recorded one video on a YouTube channel and he, and I think he might promote it. He might buy ads just a teeny bit, but he's making money hand over fist. The reason I know it is because if it wasn't profitable, he wouldn't keep doing it. So the third one. You want to look on the. Huh? Did you want to select somebody to. Oh, thou to shalt. But I didn't see anyone do it right. You, thou shalt make money work for you. But oh, uh, someone said the word three profit margin. So people are not saying it in the correct thing. Uh, someone just said I'm old because I'm on Facebook. Thou shalt not fall behind trends. I don't know on Facebook, you're falling behind, man. I want to give you this money. Okay, no one did. Thou shall make money work for you, but there's a big but here. Not a, not a fake but. Not a, I won't say this, but uh, anyway. Thou shall make money work for you by catching trends early. Those of you who are always late, and that creates margin. When you have profit margin, you can make money work for you because you have money left over. No matter what anyone tries to trick you into thinking, making passive income and make money work for you doesn't work without profit margin, period. Really, I, can you reset this here? It doesn't work, zero. Uh, so I've seen people get in trends early. I saw people, Jeff Bezos got into the internet in 1994. It seems to have worked out for him pretty well. He got in early. Um, there was a kid, a friend of mine, Tom, and he built my, 
MySpace early. He built it, I think, in 2002. And yeah, I mean, the company sold it. He sold it for 500 million bucks. He didn't get as rich as Mark Zuckerberg. But you know what he's been doing for the last 10 years? He turned himself into a photographer. He had too much money. He just turned himself into a photographer and wandered the planet for the last 10 years. Go to his Instagram. We did a, I did a live call with him. He was over playing basketball with me. He caught a trend early. Sure, he didn't become the richest person in the world, but who here would complain? I think he made, I think his cut was like 50 to 70 million bucks. Just remember, he was doing nothing before, 2001. He was actually a digital marketer. He was an internet marketer in like 2001. And there was like four people. There was a guy, there was him, and there was a couple other people, but he got his picture on MySpace. He got in early. So, I hope you guys get in early and stuff. Because then money will start working for you. So, the best way that I can say to do this. Someone said short the S&P 500 with leverage in 2020. Oh, there's Justin Woodbury. For real? David. I mean, David Woodbury. It's David J. Woodbury, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to bring him up? Okay, we can talk to him. I don't know if I've ever talked to him before. Have I? Did I meet him? David. <laughs> David. I saw you came on here and I was talking to people. I was like, I haven't really let my followers be affiliate partners. Now, a lot of people are going to think you're fake or something. <laughs> uh, by the way, wait, where are you on FaceTime? I only see myself. Where is he? I'm not FaceTime now. Oh, we just called you on FaceTime audio. Anyway, we've been paying. How many years have you been an affiliate partner of mine? Oh, uh, geez. Uh, 2000, beginning of 2015. Really? You started in 15? So you made six figures, haven't you? Oh yeah, yeah. I've done probably over six hundred thousand in two cents. So I've made. So I've I've mailed you checks or wired you six hundred thousand dollars. Yep. Has it been profitable? Because I know you spent some money on promoting. I spent probably one percent on promotion. Most is organic. So you spent six thousand dollars. You know how to do SEO. Somebody wrote scripted call. I promise you, this is not a scripted call. No. <laughs> this is not a scripted call. No, this is Have we, did you ever come to the house? Did I ever meet you? I've never been down there yet. <laughs> Where do you live, by the way? Where does he live? What's that? Where do you live? So right now, we travel around in an RV next to you. Really? We're over in Long Beach, uh, Long Beach, Washington. Long Beach. I was born in Long Beach, California, man. LBC, me and, me and Snoop Dogg. So you've made over five hundred fifty thousand dollars profit, half a oh, million, yeah. over half a million. Yep. Yeah. Well, damn. I think I've probably spent, I've probably spent about fifteen, fifteen to twenty thousand on And you've made over six hundred. Yeah. You gotta come. We gotta do a video together. This is like a great testimonial. Absolutely. That's not bad. So, um, for people listening. Okay. Okay. You have multiple streams of income, or am I your mainstream income, or do you do some other stuff? Yeah, you're a huge part of that. Um, I do a lot of other affiliate marketing. So you have more than one stream of income, and I'm the biggest stream. Absolutely. Have I ever missed a payment and not paid you? Are you owed money? No. Just got paid. What? A couple days ago. Yeah. I see the checks. They're usually like five or ten grand or something, right? Oh, that's every two weeks? It's seven David! Seven. <laughs> hey, by the way, well, I'm glad you... I this month with you in 40, 47, 47,000 when Estimate May first came out. Nice. And you're just doing like review videos on YouTube. You're most, is it mostly YouTube and stuff? Yep. Yeah, just sharing your stuff. Yeah. So, well... Dude, let's let's actually Ben set up a call. Let's talk tomorrow. I'm gonna go watch a basketball game, but I want to talk to you on some stuff. Maybe you can even teach a lesson in the program. I'm rolling out a new cash flow program, uh, right. and I don't think it's gonna affect your income at all. If, if anything, I think you can make you more money because I'm I mean, opening it up. I mean, the, the bigger you get, the more people search your name, then I make more money because we have to over. Yeah, and I have some new stuff you can promote too. That I've never done, so we should talk. You should do it early, since you're good at it. I got, I've never, like, I don't have an affiliate program uh, partnership with my new businesses. I got a new business. Listen to this. I was telling people earlier. 
I'm launching a new site. It'll be up next week called Profit Index. So basically companies go in and they can put in their website and I'll give them a score one to a hundred, how profitable I think their business is going to be. And then it's, I, I have my own marketing agency, right? And um, we're going to fix their marketing system. We're going to fix their website. We're going to build them funnels. Anyway, if you send me one customer like that, that converts to my highest product, the commission is 25,000 from one sale. Oh, wow. 25 G's. I bet you, you can, with your skill, you can probably send five to 15 a year. So. Yeah, I got so many people that would be able to take advantage of that too. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. yeah, so let's talk tomorrow because I'm gonna, is it the second quarter still? Yeah. Yeah. I wanna go see, the, I wanna get there about the time I have, I gotta walk to where I'm gonna watch the game, but. Good, I'm glad we finally talked. This is like, did you, did you, because people think this is all scripted, which I think is always hilarious. If people are always, like in 2015 when I launched like, here in my garage, people are like, this is a scam. Now everybody advertises on YouTube. I just did it first. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Hate your slumming. Yeah, Yeah, and it was easier. It was easier in 2015 because no one else was doing it. That's what I'm saying. David is the one that's going to do the best because he got in early. But I got opportunities for other people too. I'm gonna. I've been spending 10 to 20 million bucks a year off making Mark Zuckerberg rich and Sergey Brin, and I'm just like, I'll just send you guys the money. Yeah. Bad. Okay, man. Let's talk tomorrow. Ben, set up a call tomorrow. We'll do. And I want to I wanna talk to you on some stuff. Okay? Sounds good. Sounds Thank good, you. Man. Thank you. Yeah, thank okay. you. By the way, that was 100% not scripted and not lies. I know. I didn't know I was, I thought I was sending him five to 10 grand a month. Apparently, he's on my, we pay him every two weeks. Yeah, so he lives in an RV traveling around with his wife or girlfriend or whatever, and he's in Long Beach, Washington. Where the hell is that? In yeah, Washington. Long, thank you, Zach. Zach said it's in Washington. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I think people now are saying scripted just because. Definitely. Would, let me tell you why I wouldn't script a call like that. That would be so outrageously fraudulent that if one person could sue that, I, I could, could prove that, I would get sued out the yin-yang. Just use your brain, guys. Why do you think I'm gonna go on live and just do an outright lie? Like have an actor call me. I'm just like, dude, I know I'm not the smartest person in the world. I know a lot of you are way smarter than me, okay? But do you think I'm the stupidest person in the world? Because if you are, why the hell would you be watching me unless you're even stupider than me? So I did not for sure make up that call. I did not know I paid him 600,000. But I've made enough money to write him 600000 and it's, I didn't know it was all profit. I thought he was spending like half. It's SEO. He just used, if, for those of you who know how to do SEO, if you can rank for some of these terms early, that's why I said get in here early. Get in here early. Those of you who get in early will thank me. Those of you who don't will be the hater people that will be like two years later, like, oh, it's all saturated now. I'm like, well, why didn't you go into being? That's the thing that makes me laugh. The people now who are like, well, I want to get in your programs, but it's saturated. I'm like, yeah, that's why I do new things. There's a reason Apple has an Apple 5.0 phone. There's like, you want an iPhone 5, 7, 10? Because you got to keep things new and fresh. You want to make money? Make things new, fresh, new ideas. The world changes. This is my newest idea. It's not for all of you. But I'm telling you, watch my social media. The sooner you get in, the less saturated it is, the easier it'll be to rank for terms. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I, in fact, I wanna have David come teach a lesson. He can drive his own RV here to Virginia. Just like turning around from Long Beach, what, what, Long Beach, Washington. I thought I was gonna say Washington, DC, that's close, but. Um, no, there's no Long Beach there. It's only in Washington. Somebody said Long Beach is just north of the Oregon border on the coast. Cool. So, and, and as he said, which is true, I pay people. 
He's been paid. I didn't steal his commissions. The more I pay him, just think of this. What I don't even know what his payout is. But if I pay him six hundred thousand, he's probably made me two million. So, well, that's my guess. I don't know what uh, I have different products. I have different affiliate payout partner levels. For some things, I pay out like twenty five grand. For some things, I pay out like a dollar. Like if you send a free email address of like a friend, I pay you like a dollar. But if somebody buys stuff, you get a lot more. And um, so you can make money, by the way, without anybody even buying anything. I'm setting this up. This will be set up. It's going to take about a week or two. But you should get in now because first come, first serve on these ideas. And you can start on them next week. So this is good. This is a damn good thing. This is, I told my the other day, this is the best idea I've had to help a massive amount of people actually rate, make real money. Not like three bucks a month. Or, oh, Ty, I'm an affiliate. I made 50 cents. Not everybody's going to make money, but I'm going to be writing big checks to some of you. I want, I, my, I haven't rolled this out yet, but personally, I want to meet the first person that I send a $25,000 commission to for one sale. I have the margins. I have the business. I'll do all the work. By the way, for those of you who don't like sales, just refer the people. If my phone sales team sells them the product, you get full commissions. Full commissions. I'm building a 150 person sales team. By the way, if you've been wondering why I'm opening offices in London, Miami, Toronto, and Manhattan, we already have LA. Um, it's because we're building out a massive sales team, also in Australia. So we're gonna be able to call people. So if you just make referrals, my team, We'll call people, sell them, and you get full commission as if you did the sale. We just need introduction. And if you don't do it, it's fine. We'll buy Facebook and YouTube ads. We'll continue to do that. But I'd love to ramp that down and just give you the money. It's part of it, you know? And not everybody's going to be making $600,000 like David J. Wordberry. Now, he hasn't made $600,000 in one year. He made, he started in 2015. He said he really started when I did my SMA in 2016. So in three years, he's made six hundred grand. i am not the only source of income. 200 grand um, and six grand, or 200 grand a year, spending about three grand a year is damn good money. It's more than people who go to school for 10, 15 years. It's more than people who have MBAs. So the link is, it's on, it's in, well, it's right here. TyLopez.com slash partner. Live. Partner Live. It's also on my website, tylopez.com. It's one of the main links. Um, it rolls out next week. But people are getting in. I opened it up early bird Monday. So it's like three days ago. What, what time is it? Is it, sec is it second quarter open? Uh, no, almost. But 43, 42 last I saw. 47, 46. Game, four baby. minutes to go. Toronto, Golden State. Toronto's up one. All right, any last questions? SEO is easy as fuck, Paul Stefan to Lynch said. Well, good, you should be, then try to beat David Woodbury. Someone said that was Zach By the way, on the phone. I, someone said, around. no, Zach's standing right there. That was not Zach. Uh, the good news is, the reason I'm on your side is if you make money, I made more. Now, on some products, I'm going to split 50-50. Some products, I'll even split like you did, like 70 or 80% of the first time payment. But overall, I'll make a little bit more. I'll make like 60%, you'll make like 40. Because I got all the expenses, by the way. I got to do all the work. I got the programmers, the staff. I have, you know, to pay crazy payroll and stuff. You don't have any of that. But the more you guys make, the happier I am. It's not multi-level money. Let me repeat that. Although I am tempted to make one of the cash flow systems an MLM. I just can't decide which one. This is not an MLM. This is not a, you get 300 people underneath you. Okay. This is what I'm taking, what Jeff Bezos invented in 1999, an affiliate model for Amazon is an affiliate model. Amazon owns some of the products and does some of the sales themselves and they have hundred million that stores or products, SKUs, that other people make money. Like my friend Liz, who you've seen, she makes $500,000 a month selling kitchen stuff. She has her own store on Amazon. But guess who makes the most money? Jeff.
Sam Bezos. That man's a mastermind of the world. And uh, at one point before his divorce, he was at 150 million net worth. Billion, 150 billion. That's as high as Sam Walton got with Walmart at his prime. Not as high as uh, Rockefeller. But the thing I like about Jeff Bezos, let me just throw this out. Here's what I like about Jeff Bezos. Because I've been an affiliate of Amazon too. Jeff Bezos, I've made six figures out of an affiliate. So he spread the wealth around. I like that. See, Walmart doesn't do that. If you go to Walmart and they're profitable, they might share it with their employees and their investors, but they won't share it with the customers. But Jeff Bezos went, I'm gonna, my customers, I'm going to turn into my ambassadors. So I'm happy if all the people that can be the richest person. Mark Zuckerberg doesn't do that. Who here has ever made, gotten a check from Facebook, from Instagram? Everybody using Instagram all day long. Mark Zuckerberg doesn't share one penny of it. Hopefully, I don't get kicked off Instagram because I like Instagram. But Jeff Bezos shares money with the Amazon affiliate partners. And he shared, I'm sure he shared billions. So good for him. He became the richest man in the world, at least giving people a chance to make money. And I realized I should have done this a long time ago. So, yeah. But I will tell you this, Amazon's a tad bit more saturated. It's still doable. For sure, I know people make money. This, tylopez.com slash partner live, get in the cash flow program, watch the video there, jump in if you've watched this video. It is the best thing I know that I would, if, if my brother came to me, now, this brother here, Ben, works for me, but if he came to me, didn't work for me and said, Yo, I'm broke, or I'm not. I hate my job. I feel like I'm at a dead end, or I'm an entrepreneur, but I want to get more. I want to have multiple streams of income. I'd be like, go to cash flow. Go to tylopen.com. Get in the cash flow affiliate partnership program. And it's not just because. See, I actually, it's not. I don't make that much more money with the new system. Because if I wasn't paying you the commissions, I would just buy YouTube and Instagram and Facebook ads. Trust me, I know how to convert on ads out the yin But the difference is, then I'm only making the rich richer. So, it's in my best interest mentally to just go, eh, do I want to I don't love big corporations, by the way. I don't mind Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg, the individuals, but I'm not, who here loves big corporations? Who here thinks the best thing for the world is big corporations? I don't. Nobody, no corporation needs to be as big as Apple is. It's not good. The monopolistic stuff has been proven over and over to hurt the world in many ways. So I don't want to be a monopoly myself, and I don't want to encourage monopolies more than I have to. It's a necessary evil. I got to use YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram right now. It's just the name of the game. But if I can use it 30% less and share the money with you, by the way, you're going to only be promoting products that are good. Farm, like my um, profit index, we're going into businesses that are struggling and making them profitable again. You might have a friend who has a business, refer them to us. If they become, we got programs between 10,000 and 150,000 that we do their marketing for them and we build them a marketing system. And so you're referring people, you're helping your friends who are entrepreneurs, okay? And you're getting paid for it. The Ty Lopez is a different, I have nine different educational products you can promote. Trust me, they help people and they have money back guarantees. So if they, someone's not helped, they get their money back. So you only do, it's not like you're promoting like toxic waste and radioactive Chernobyl. You see the new Chernobyl show on HBO? We're spreading good things. Farmer's Box, my food company, we've got organic or we have, you know, rotationally grazed stuff. We have free range chicken. Like it's like we just rolled out a beef jerky line. If you're if you're promoting our farmers box, it's good stuff. But we're not Monsanto. We're not these massive food conglomerates that are poisoning the world. So it's a win win, man. Um, Easy said, "I believe in you, man." Well, thank you. I believe in you too, Easy. I thought you died back in the in the when did Easy die? Nineteen nineties. <laughs> Oh, not, it's not that easy, sorry. Um, where's the trees, though? 
This is an office. If you're wondering, I'm not on my farm right now. I'm in town in my office. Someone asked how you do it if you don't have a big social media. Okay, you don't need a big social media following. David Woodbury, I bet you doesn't even have 2,000 Instagram followers. Is his YouTube channel big? No. Started, it's teeny. You don't have to. You can know. I, I'm going to show you multiple things. You're going to get training in the cash flow system. It's in my best interest to train you. You can buy ads. You can do word of mouth. You can build a little team of people under you. If you're an introvert, you can be a mastermind and stay introverted and get other extroverted people doing the work for you. By the way, sky's the limit. This is this is the American dream here. No, re there's there are regulations in that. You can't lie about my product. You can't be like, yo. Go to TylerBrothers.com, buy a social media marketing program. I promise you'll make $10 million. You, there are rules. You have to be ethical. But I'm saying there's no rules. If you want to get your little brother doing it under you and use your affiliate code, you can get paid and you can pay them a split. Like, I don't care about that. As long as it's ethical and you're not hurting anybody, build as big an empire as you want. David Woodbury made 600000 Good for him. Do you think I care? I did not know I paid him 600000 <laughs> Once a day, but do you think it hurts my feelings? Cause I'm like, no, this dude made me millions. My guess is with repeat business, I probably shared 50, 50 or something for the first time business, but those customers bought other stuff that I didn't necessarily have to share with them. Now my new system, I'm going to share with you repeat sales. David Woodbury doesn't even have the best deal. That deal I set up with him in 2015 is not even as good as the one I'm giving you guys now. Cause I'm going to do lifetime tracking. As long as you're an active, uh, affiliate partner, you can get paid. If somebody buys one thing and then a month later they buy another thing, I'm not going to keep the commissions. I want to write you a check. My dream, this is an impossible dream that will never happen, is to write each of you a million dollar check per year. Because if I'm taking, if it's a split, that means you guys are making me $500 million a year or whatever. How many, how many people are on this call? If I add up all four, there's how many on YouTube? Uh, 1.5. There's 1,500 on YouTube. There's a 500 on Instant or 600. So we're at 2,100. I would love to write 2,000 people every year a check totaling or checks totaling, I don't know, 100 grand. Because that means 200 people have made me more than 100 grand. And I didn't have to spend money on marketing. It's badass. It's like the best thing ever. So I hope I've never written an affiliate partner a million dollar check. Um, apparently I've written, written David J. Winbury a total of 600,000, but I'd like to get to a million. Again, most people won't get a million dollars. Let's be clear. This is, I'm not stupid. This is not get rich quick, but a lot of people can be getting $500 checks this month, thousand dollars. I'm building an affiliate program also that I'm selling high margin stuff so I can actually share with you. So I'm not actually just like, cause there's some affiliate programs like, like there's this website called Commission Junction. I remember a long time ago when I was learning how to make money online, I'm like, I'm gonna be a Commission Junction partner. It is the worst affiliate partnership deals. It's like, okay, if you send, you know, like one person to join match.com, the dating site, you get $3. I'm like, woo. This is extremely, if you get one paying customer, they were paying out, I think, 5% commission. So if somebody bought like a $100 package on that.com, they were sending you $5. It's the worst affiliate. I was just talking to a guy who's going to be teaching in the cash flow affiliate partnership program. And he goes, commission junction, I need like five. He was talking about his life story and how I'm not going to have. The only time I'll have 5% commissions is on real high ticket stuff that I have to do a lot of work. But the 5% commission on a high ticket thing is a $25,000 check. I'm just saying, I'm not, I don't want to write a whole bunch of people seven cent checks every month. It's not even worth the paper. My goal in an ideal world is that people who apply themselves are making 2,500 a month um, as affiliate partners. The people who actually pay attention. Um, on the low end, I would like, I would like to people to do 2,500 to 25,000. Um, David Wood, Jay Woodbury is doing about, what do you say about? Uh, it's like 10 grand a month at least. Yeah. He's doing five to 10 grand every two weeks. So he's making between 10 and 20,000. So that's what I was saying. I'd like to have some people on the upper, um, side of things. So, but, and there'll be people that are making a hundred bucks and there'll be people who are making zero. Okay. 
I know how the world goes. But let me just throw this out. Let's say you go in the cash flow program and you love becoming an affiliate partner and you never really do it and you don't like make any money in it. I will be teaching you things as a partner with me that I don't share anywhere else. And you can use those ninja secrets to go out and build your own businesses. Don't forget that. I have a lot of people who follow me who are big entrepreneurs making a ton of money and they're like, Ty, like I make money just from things you taught me in my other streams of income. So make no mistake, I am putting my heart and soul into this cash flow program. It's rolling out by the end of next week. Um, and I think this is the best thing I've ever put out by far. I think this is twice, I'm, tw I'm 10 times more excited than this about this than the social media marketing agency. 10 times, maybe 100 times. Okay, last question, it's halftime. Somebody said, Ty, I can't take this seriously anymore. What happened to the Bitcoin group? I still have it. But I can't, Facebook and YouTube kicked everybody off and wouldn't let you run any videos about crypto. All you crypto people, don't be stupid. People are like, oh, Ty was just promoting cryptocurrency um, when it was hot. No, I wasn't. I got, you, they kicked everybody off. Until Mark, Mark Zuckerberg wanted to make his own crypto, which he just rolled out. So now he's unreleased the ban. As I said, who's trying to make rich? Who's trying to get rich? I didn't have a crypto trading program. I had a crypto education program with badass people teaching people. By the way, the advice in my crypto program, go back and watch it. There's a myth that I ever promoted BitConnect. I never promoted. I had a guy on my show. I had a talk show, crypto one. And one guy goes, BitConnect is a scam, but I made a lot of money in it. That wasn't me, that was a guy on my show, Dan Fleischman. I never promoted BitConnect. There's multiple videos of me not promoting it, so don't, people are stupid. Crypto has some of the smartest and stupidest people I've ever met. I've never met a group with so many geniuses and yet the other half is morons of the, like kids who got bullied, so they're like basically little trolls. Did you see that Instagram video? Where a dude did, he a, it was a boxer, a professional boxer, visited a troll. This will be the best new reality show. Dude, that kid got more. So first he sent in like his assistant. So it was like a jewelry store. And he just walks in and I said, I forget who it was. It was a boxer I never heard of. Or a UFC fighter I've never heard of. And he goes, hey, I heard you said, you know, so-and-so, Alberto, you could kick his ass. And the guy's like, yeah, I don't really like him. Uh, the thing they didn't bring that up so guy in it searched for it and the guy and the guy was not like he was like not joking around he's like you want to fight he's like i need five minutes with you outside the guy goes bro 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 it's just words i was just, it's just words. words just words I, that's crypto i'm like all the crypto trolls i'm like would you say that to somebody's face no Zab, Zab judah yeah Zab judah that's what it was the crypto program that I went, like Brock Pierce, who's a crypto billionaire, he was like, Ty, you're doing a, serv a good service. You're getting 50 million people to hear about crypto. And the advice we gave, it wasn't me teaching it. It was a series of interviews that I did with crypto founders, with crypto experts, real ones. And um, boy, the people who follow the advice that we gave in that, what is the things that I said? I said... Be careful with these little junk trash coins. I had a friend who had $100 million in junk coins. He has uh, $8 million left. I told people dollar cost average in and dollar cost average out. Now, people don't always know what that means, but it means don't just buy all of your Bitcoin when it's at 18,000 and then sell all of it when it's 8,000. It means be continually selling it. And if you have profit, continually dollar cost average set. It also helps with taxes. Unless you move to Puerto Rico to get around capital gains. But, yeah, that's my, I don't even know why I got a little sidetrack. Ty, someone was asking for the link. It is on there. But yeah, tylopez.com slash partner life. Doing a little answer to my critics. You always got to answer your critics a little bit. Never answer your critics too much because that's <clears throat> good. So we're just about. How long have you sent $100 for my answer? My assistant will reach out to you and we can pay Kyle. Um. No PayPal. We will Venmo it. Somebody said I mean technique. Uh, 
Police is inside the house. No, that was the policeman driving by. Let me see. Can anyone join? Um, there's some rules. You can't join if you're five years old and you're using your mom's credit card. Okay. Uh, but there's no real age limits except the legal ones. Like I said, you can't be a newborn baby. I can't. You can't. You gotta have a bank account. If you are too young, you could do it with your dad or parents or something or your mom. That's fine. Um, if there's no. It works outside the U.S. as well as the U.S. David Woodbury, who I brought on here, who made six hundred thousand, he could be anywhere. It sounds like he doesn't have a. He just drives around in an RV. <laughs> so, that's kind of funny. Um, Tyler Japan, thank you for everything. Kai, I want to do it, but except Discover cards. We don't like Discover cards for what? Why do we not like Discover? Cards? Discover the pain to work with. Um, Peter Schiff says you don't know anything. Who the hell is Peter Schiff? Tell Peter Schiff I don't know who he is. But I'll tell you this. I'm somewhat controversial because I talk about money and people get butt hurt about money. Um, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I'm not the dumbest. Anybody that tells you I know nothing, check yourself. Remember Hi. what Charlie Munger said. Beware of extremes. You know, people ask me, Ty, what do you think of Gary Vee? What do you think of Grant Cardone? What do you think of Tony Robbins? What do you think of Donald Trump? Blah, blah, blah. I try not to have extreme opinions on people because my experience with people is the people you hear about. Even the Kardashians, people ask me, you know, I, Kendall Jenner was at my Christmas party two years ago. People ask me, oh, I saw she was on your, you know, on your Instagram. And I say, don't have extreme opinions about the Kardashians. I don't have extreme opinions about Donald Trump. You might not like Donald Trump. You might not like the Kardashians. But don't be extreme. Be smart. Donald Trump's not the smartest person in the world, but he's not the dumbest. Obama, not the smartest, not the dumbest. Kardashians, not the smartest, but not the dumbest. So when people ask me trying to dissect, what do I think of Gary Vee? Well, I agree with some of Gary Vee, and I disagree with some of his. If you ask Gary Vee about me, Probably the same thing. Grant Cardone. Thank you. Somebody yesterday said, Todd, what do you think of the book Thinking Grow Rich? I said, don't have extreme opinions, meaning some parts of Think and Grow Rich are helpful and some aren't. So you take the best and you throw out the rest. Some people go, Ty, I don't like it when you're in Lamborghinis showing off cars, but I like it when you're on your farm. I said, good. When you see I'm back in the city, and I got a Lamborghini, mute my Instagram account. Or whatever, just scroll past it. And when you see I'm on the farm and you like that, but I get some people are like, yesterday some dude goes, yo dog, you turn into a redneck. <laughs> so that guy didn't like that I'm on my farm. He's like, it's boring. I don't care about cows and horses. So I told that dude, bro, when you don't like what's on the TV channel, you just change the channel. And then you turn it back when it's something you like. And so when people say, you know, Ty, like, this person says, you know nothing. How could I know nothing? How could I know nothing? Just think about it for a second. What happens when you know nothing? You think you'd be good at catching trends? No. I've been catching trends. I was one of the first people to use Google ads in 2002. I was in the beta program of Facebook ads in 2008. I was, I was... Uh, Facebook says right now, me and my business partner, Alex, are the number two e-commerce Facebook spenders in the world for all of Facebook ads, the largest platform in the world. So do you think a dumb person who knows nothing could do that? Am I at least a good marketer? Would you give me that? Because the difference, I don't know who Peter Schiff is, but the difference is Peter Schiff knows who I am, and I ain't never fucking heard of Peter Schiff. So that means maybe I'm not the worst marketer, and maybe he could learn a thing or two. There was a guy who came and did a debate with me, and he's like, Ty, use social media to get a following. Use social media to promote businesses. How bad of you? How I said, why don't you stop being such an extreme critic? Why don't you learn something? You know what's funny? That guy's now using social media to promote his businesses. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's great. Can I do this in India? Absolutely. In fact, in India, if you could figure out how to make a thousand bucks a month, it's like making 10,000 because I pay you in U.S. dollars. Okay, so hopefully the U.S. dollar survives. 
Um, you can convert it to Bitcoin if you don't believe it. Uh, you're the best. That's what you're supposed to do. Let's go grafters. I do best. Warts is what somebody wrote. Digital cactus marketing. Will you talk about the dark triad in your future podcast? <laughs> uh, yeah. People like when I talk about the personality types. How about the dark dyad? There's more than the dark triad. See, there's ninja tricks that I have my sleeve. The dark triad is Machiavellianism, narcissism, and, and uh, psychopathy. But there's more than that. Ty, someone said, what kind of G fuel is in your shaker cup? What kind of G fuel? This is, you know what this is? This here is milk from, I have two milk cows. I got a Jersey and a, a, a shorthorn. Um, it's a shorthorn or a Guernsey. And I, on my farm, anyway, this is whole milk from my farm. 100% grass fed, 100% organic. And then I have a hemp protein, hemp baby. And I have whey protein in here too. By the way, Ty, I have a feeling Peter Schiff, I just Googled him. Peter Schiff owns Euro Pacific and he is a fund manager. He doesn't like Bitcoin. I feel like he probably never said anything Oh, Peter about Schiff doesn't, doesn't like, like that I say Bitcoin is the Well, whatever. <laughs> you know how many people make money in Bitcoin, baby? Bitcoin's going to go up and down. It's very volatile. Do not put all your money in Bitcoin. But he uh, you got money, why wouldn't you put... 1% of it in alternative assets, silver, gold. There's, there, alternative assets means things that are a little bit crazy, okay? Wealthiest people in the world, what they don't teach you in school is they put their money into alternative assets and crypto is a great alternative asset. It moves opposite to the regular market. So when the US economy can go up, crypto can be going down, but vice versa too. So. Why does cash flow have two W's? Because I wanted to be able to like trademark it. And I can't trademark the word cash flow. It was like trying to trademark, trademark the word store or something like that. So I spelled it a little different to show differentiation. Peter Schiff just tweeted out uh, <laughs> that he wants to challenge you to <laughs> a fight. Yeah. Zach is just making stuff up. He said Peter Schiff just challenged me to a fight. <laughs> Hey, I'll fight people who are my weight class. And He's 56. So. Yeah, Justin Bieber challenged Tom Cruise to do a fist fight. I'm like, Justin Bieber, be careful. Tom Cruise, I heard somebody tweet said, Tom Cruise is crazy. Never fight crazy. Um, yeah. South and Cherry, Long Beach, bro. The Kardashians trademark North. Yeah, but they trademark, I don't know that they, tra they did not trademark North that no one else can use it. Trust me. You can still put north on your maps and you're not gonna get sick about it. They might, I do not believe that. And even if they did, um, it could only be in the context of a baby. It, there's this context. Ty, I wanna start organic food because all the synthetic has come with it. Ty, what do you think of Forex trading? It's an alternative way to making money. Forex, I know people, I, I like this because you're partnering with an existing business. Forex, you're gonna go out on your own. But there's people making money in Forex. I've got nothing again against it. Ty, what's a good book you could recommend to people? You're asking on YouTube, someone said, could you recommend so, a book? So, good book, and now I'm for sure gonna go, I know I've been saying this, but mm -hmm. they've been telling me lots of people are coming on to watch this, so I missed the first half. Um, a good book that I'm gonna be training you guys in cash flow, but you could get a head start. Um, I want you to read Persuade, a Presuasion, Presuasion, by the very famous Robert Cialdini. I just did a video with him. It's, it will help you immensely in the affiliate partnership. You can get it on Amazon. I don't know how much it is, 10 bucks or something. Pre-suasion, get the audio book or whatever. I don't make any money on it. I'm not an affiliate. I always tell people, and I want you to tell people when you're an affiliate partner so that people don't think you're sneakily trying to make money with them. But if I don't say, if I don't mention it, that I'm an affiliate partner, then um, that means I'm not, I mean, if I don't overtly say it, then I'm not making any money. So you can buy the book Presuasion. I don't make a penny. And it's a great book and it will set you up for success. It's one of the books that will set you up for success in this new affiliate partnership. Okay. So in closing, tylopez.com slash partner live. You will be one of the founding members in this because this is the first 
live call that I've ever done this, uh, that I've ever put this link. TyLopez.com slash partner to partner with me on the things that make me money every single minute, or I should say every single hour of the day, 24 seven for over a decade. I'm gonna give you access. Never done it before except for special deals with guys like David Woodbury, who I got his name wrong. That's how well I know him. I thought it was Justin Woodbury for a second, but that's his middle name. So I'm gonna go drink my whole food, uh, whole milk. Zach, where's your whole milk? Zach says he doesn't like to drink milk. It makes him frothy. <laughs> makes me other things that I won't say on live. Makes you bloaty. Same. Zach doesn't want to look bloated. Farty. <laughs> Farty? Okay, great. With that, we'll leave on a high note. Um, for those of you who can get in, awesome. For those of you who like the idea but you're skeptics, don't come crying to me when it's saturated. <laughs> when I got 100,000 affiliate partners, you don't want to be the 100,000th affiliate partner. Really. Alan Nation told me to never be the first or the last to try a new idea. Monday, people, do we track the very first person who got in? I want to track them because I want to tell them, never be the first. You made a mistake. But never be the last. So, actually the first person wasn't the first. I was the first person selling my products. So the first was me. I took all the risk. I put up all the capital. I put up to build out these businesses. You count initial investment and reinvestment over 50 million bucks. That's low ball. So if you want to try to rebuild these businesses on your own and keep all the money for yourself and not partner, good luck. I wish anybody the best. I see people going, I'm going to compete with you. I'm like, good luck, baby. Because it was, I got a little bit lucky. I got in early. It wasn't luck, but it was luck. I got in, I started pushing in 2013. Pushed, rolled out the 67 steps beta in 2014, July 25th. So I, I got in early, man. For those of you who wanted to do what I did, uh, my advice to you is get it, get a time machine um, and go back to right when I was really pushing it hard, which was um, November and December 2014. It's a bitch now. I used, I was like the first, the only person doing. Personal YouTube video ad before me was probably Mike Chang, who made enough money and retired. I think he's like a Buddhist monk or something now. Remember, isn't he like doing ayahuasca in like in Mexico or something? So I got in early. I wasn't the first. He was the first. I was the second. Second is a dance. To be in the second group is by far the best. Here's my example. MySpace, well, Friendster was the first. But Friendster wasn't that big. MySpace was the first monster site. It was 2005. It was the number one Alexa rank. Bigger than Google. But who made all the money? The big money? The second group. Ben, are you covering so, the Facebook microphone? Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, was he? Okay. This is perfect. You won't be the first. <clears throat> but if I let a... I don't know that I'm going to let 100,000 people in the house. Being extreme. But you wouldn't want to be the 100,000th person in this. I mean, you might, there's still the opportunity, but the margins will shrink, okay? Oh, David Woodbury's the first, I guess. He made 600 Gs and spent 15 grand. That's insane. Well, for those of you who get in, next week, I'm rolling out this thing. I got my computer programmers. We're building out a new website. We're building out, well, we already have an affiliate commission tracking system that we use for David and, and We've had a couple other affiliates, um, but some of them, we don't know their names. They live like all over the world. Um, we're rolling out. We already got the tech built. We're just designing stuff, um, and we're getting you your links. And I'm going to actually show you, even if you don't have followers, like David Woodbury had no followers, basically. I'm going to show you how to leverage technology, social media, email, your existing base of people that you know, friends of friends, building a team underneath you. By the way, I'm going to show you SEO tricks. I'm going to show you paid ad tricks. I'm going to show you old school using things like direct mail and other things. I'm going to show you cold calling, warm calling, and how to have other people do the cold calling for you. Key thing. 
I want to set you guys up as mini moguls. Moguls sit at the top. I want to get you now mini moguls because you're going to be promoting my products. So obviously my products are kind of at the top, but mini moguls, meaning you have people working as you sleep. That's how you make money work for you. You have profit margins. You reinvest it wisely. You get a base of people building. And this is not multi-level marketing at all, by the way. I do not have a binary payment comp plan or anything weird like that. Not, not that they're anything weird about it, but this is not multi-level marketing. I will probably give affiliate, I'm still deciding, but I think I'm gonna give you a referral fee if you get other people to be affiliates. But that's not where I want you to be make your main money. And you're not gonna get paid on like 17 levels. It would just be one level, that's it. Okay, so that's, that's MLMs are fine. They have a bad reputation, so I don't wanna, I already have enough controversy. I don't want any more. <laughs> For no reason. Um, but the good thing about not being an MLM is I can pay more to the top tier because I'm not sharing it with 50 people underneath you. I'm sharing it with you. So, good luck out there. We'll see if the Toronto uh, Raptors beat Golden State or 